Aloha Aquarius, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your yearly reading for 2021. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. For a private reading or an energy alignment session with me personally, please book that on my website at www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. You can also get a video reading or leave me a donation or send me some mail that is in the description box below all of that information thank you guys so much thank you for liking sharing and subscribing if you haven't done that yet please do hit the bell button all of those things help my channel to grow and expand thank you to those that have commented and a big shout out and thank you to those who have left me a donation i really appreciate it Aloha, aquarius this is stephanie with the whispering dragonfly coming to you with your um general reading for 2021 so this is for the whole year we're going to look into multiple things we're going to get a general reading of who your guardians are through the keepers of the light and the dragon cards we're going to get the general reading for love and romance just the overarching theme as well as the general overarching theme in your spiritual walk and then um, we are going to look at the tarot as well as pull a rune for the year okay so thank you guys so much for liking sharing subscribing i really appreciate that please do comment um the comments help um number one i love to hear your feedback also it helps to put things in the uh, youtube algorithm so um people can see the video so i really love that and thank you so much you guys for all the people who have donated um, I really appreciate that. It's enabled me to buy some really cool tarot and oracle cards to use on the channel um, that otherwise I may not have been able to. And so I'm really grateful, large and small, on the donations. And um, yeah, thank you so much for all my subscribers. It's just been a wonderful journey so far. Okay, so Aquarius, let's get into it right now. Let's pull your rune for the year all right and then we're gonna pull a um let's see a keepers of the light card for aquarius 2021 a dragon guardian card for 2021 for aquarius million of them just one please okay there we go <laughs> all right you guys you got unknowable your general theme for 2021 unknowable is the alpha and the omega the ending and the beginning um, unknowable is one of the most wonderful runes to get um, because it means that you're in that space of writing your own story, making your own movie. So 2021 is really, um, you're in that space of the unknowable, the everything and the nothing, okay? The void and the womb. Um, you have the ability to write and create the story of your dreams um, for 2021. You have Melchizedek, and he is, there we go, higher learning, okay. You have learned from experience. More inner study is now required to further progress. Okay, so your general theme, Melchizedek is going to be giving you higher learning. For some of you, this is in the spiritual world. For some of you, um, this may be uh, in the physical with your job and your training, you know, um, those of you, some of you may be in the healing profession, some of you may be in technology, but you're getting these higher learnings and a higher application of what you have already learned. So you're building upon the experiences that you already have in 2021. The dragon that is going to watch over you is Thor's red, black, and gold dragon. Okay, protects you in times of change, a time of rapid transition and transformation relax you are safe okay so you really are in the unknown and the unknowable and um 
you are protected, okay, between Melchizedek, who's such a high, high-ranking angel, and this dragon, they're going to watch over you, okay, and they're going to make sure that the story that you write is based upon your inner learning, okay, it's a really beautiful, um, you have the protection, you have to move, for, have the space to move forward safely. And I feel like the word that's coming through Aquarius is the word of faith, okay? Where maybe you don't see all the outcomes just yet. However, um, Spirit's really working on your behalf, you're learning at a higher level and um, you're protected to go through the changes. And I feel like for many of you, these are long awaited changes because you've envisioned your life a certain way and it hasn't up until now been exactly what you've been programming. And now it's like you're able to um, write your story in a different way and even, you know, rewrite some areas, okay? In love and romance, the general theme we have when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Okay. You also have surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. Those are the lover's oracle cards. And then we have simple acts of kindness these are the whispers of love oracle it says kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you so in this year because so much is in change and transition and unknowable okay you can't make a wrong choice aquarius so i feel like for some of you you may be entering new partnerships and for some of you you may be going through divorce or going through a change in your relationship status that might be like the, you know, what some would say negative, not that there's a negative side to things, um, but you, you're going through a change in transition. You're going through higher learning in all areas of your life, and that includes love and romance. So what they're asking you is just to be kind, okay? Surrender. Surrender the old patterns. It doesn't mean you have to leave your beloved um, if you don't want to. It just means surrender the old feelings and allow yourself to write a new story that may include the one you're with if you're coupled it may not okay um any way it goes in love it's perfect it's absolutely perfect so whatever choice you have to make remember that you're protected okay and make it with kindness because i feel like you are rewriting your story you're having a new um a huge change in transition in 2021 and no matter what you choose, it's okay, especially in love and romance. It's like everything is perfect. So whatever choice you make is going to be the correct one for you. You can't mess it up, okay? We're never finished. So there's no pressure to have anything done at any certain time. And surrender it to spirit and allow yourself to be in the receiving mode in your um in your life but specifically with love and romance remember um, this year the general theme simple acts of kindness is the key for you okay you don't have to know how everything's gonna turn out just be kind that's it okay just be kind that's the only thing that you can really do right now and it's all wonderful spirit saying you've really learned from your experiences um, so you're just going to the higher levels of learning and and the levels of creating your life and your path exactly as you would like to have it rather than I feel like for some of you Aquarius have settled for crumbs right rather than having the life of your dreams okay please there we go okay and on the spiritual world um, your general themes for that is the Vesica Pisces okay which is number 26, which equals an eight. I just want to see what they say about this on here. So this is creating soul truth in the world. Okay. 
So the Soul Mastery class is the middle path. Um, Vesca Pisces is a symbol that shows how consciousness splits itself to know itself and to expand life. From this place, it can reflect upon itself, seeing itself rather than just out from itself. Okay. This is the basis of the seed of life and the flower of life. Okay. So this is, you are really with the unknown in Vesica Pisces here. You're really seeing yourself so that you can expand yourself. So here you are. It's like looking in from both sides. In your spiritual world, you're really going up into higher learning. The highest learning in the spiritual world like of the um, is know thyself, okay? Um, what is it? The Temple of Delphi. It's outside of, it's written, inscribed outside of there. It says know thyself, okay? You're really going into that this year. And then the other spiritual main lesson is the void. Again, the same as the same as unknowable. Okay. The void. Stop. Embrace winter. Great cosmic womb. Okay. You're in the womb of creation. You're in the womb of learning. And this is a beautiful, beautiful place to be. So 2021 is going to be this comforting and inner light and high learning high changing vibe for you guys okay and it's going to really um help bring you into the path of most allowance it's going to help bring you into the path of your highest self and highest being now we're going to look month to month and then pull some cards for your quarterly. Okay. Yeah, this is great. Because Aquarius, I feel like uh, what Spirit's saying is a, a great reset. Okay. I feel like for many of you, this is like, you know, your like past self and your future self and you're meeting in the middle. You're meeting... Like all those past things that you wish you did and the future things that you're dreaming, they're meeting in the middle to expand that consciousness out through time. And it's a really great place to be. Let's see, to March, April, May, June. September, October, November, December. Okay. And then quarterly one. All right, you guys. So now that we got the cards on the table. We've got, um, in January, we've got Three of Swords. So there may be, you know, this is the heartbreak card. Things not working out. Something going on with the lover. And remember, you've got some surrender that's happening around your love and romance relationships. And like we were saying, there's some choices to make. Uh, so some of you may be making the choice to break up with someone or you have just broken up with someone. And part of the clearing process that's happening um, in January is really to help heal your emotional wounds. Um, I feel like um, I feel like some of you have been stuck in the rut as far as your emotional side of things, not really wanting to let go of past heartbreak or situations that didn't work out. And in January, you're really going to let those go. I feel like this is a reflection of the past energy. Some of you may be choosing to um, release someone in January. Um, February, you have Four of Wands, okay? For those of you who successfully reflect on the past, Four of Wands can be multiple things. It's the 1111 a card. So those of you that are, you know, those old divine counterparts um, could very well be, um, you know, your divine counterpart or divine match. This can be a marriage card, but I feel like for some of you, it's this feeling of being stuck because we have this house of cards back there. Okay. So it's like 
you're really learning how to build the foundation of your life um, in February. Okay, so some of you, I, I feel like there's two branches here that's happening. Some of you feel really stuck in your life. Um, I feel like for those of you who are married, I feel like that um, there's been this stuckness in the relationship. There's been this kind of ongoing um, three of swords kind of heartbreak moment like even if you're still together it's almost like emotionally you're very separate um, and you're really reflecting and considering what you build your foundation on okay um, for others of you I feel like January you've really been like those that have been single uh, or dealing with the past heartbreaks I feel like January you've been looking at that information really healing yourself and then four of wands like this may be the entrance of your divine counterpart okay so for some of you um it's got two different energies going on so let what resonates with you resonate with you if it doesn't don't worry about it um okay so march we've got two of wands so in march i feel like there is a spark and a picking up of your um energy here because you're ready to embark on a partnership um, you're ready to embark on better times okay um, you're looking into partnerships both in your physical and um, you know emotional world as well as your business world and I feel like there's some um, new spark happening with that because we have the lilies and the roses here again it's about that surrender but um, it's going to kind of open your heart to um, higher things in the month of March. So I feel like you're really going to have a new energy within yourself to move forward. Um, and April, we've got the sun. Okay, so all of the beginning of the year where you, I feel like um, the energies from 2020 and the stress that's been sort of releasing now you're beginning to see the sunshine now you're really beginning to feel it and you're beginning to move into this space of good fortune okay um, April's a really good time for your business prospects love prospects April's gonna be a really um, easy and beautiful month for you uh, the sun shining uh, it's like you're gonna be like the golden child okay May we have Ten of Swords. I feel like for some of you, uh, you've got um, these burdens and things that are happening. I feel like there's this time shifting that's happening where you're going back and forth, like with this Three of Swords and Ten of Swords. So there's this kind of back and forth energy um, that may be in your mind. It may also be that you're back and forth with this... Um, love or um spirit saying be careful what you create because especially in april like um, march and april you're going to have this building of momentum so they're saying stay on that positive path really be careful what you create because once you create it you're responsible for it and sometimes that can cause the burdens um and i i feel like with this ten of swords that it's just time for you to let go of the burdens and so um, yeah, so in May, I feel like you're going to be willing to let go of the burdens. Like you may be feeling like there's a lot of different puzzle pieces that are coming together, but I do feel like you're getting the learning by being in the void, by really reflecting and expanding upon yourself. Because in June, we've got the Two of Cups. Okay, let's see if that will come into focus. Yeah. All right, so Two of Cups is... You know someone wanting to partner with you and this is something that makes your heart sing okay so for um, business this is a really good partnership and so March and June you've got the twos here so you're really going to be looking at duality you're really going to be looking at expanding yourself you're really going to be looking at partnering with others this year there will be this theme and it's a a year of surrender for you but it's surrender in these really beautiful ways because what's coming is really nice um, for those of you that are single this may be a love offer and a partnership um, 
you are just coming out of kind of a heavier, denser energy the month before. And so, you know, spirits like just let surrender and let things happen. Um, for you, Aquarius, this year, there's no wrong choice. So whatever you choose in love or romance or other things, you're learning. And so there's no wrong choice. Um, but there may be an offer in June. July, we have King of Swords. King of Swords is basically saying, use your logic. The King of Swords is master of themselves and their environment. Very logical, but they can be cold. Um, this is showing that in July, there may be um, a need for you to be at mastery of yourself and your, and your environment, or you might have a mentor or a teacher coming in to help teach you um, some things. Because remember, we have higher learning, and this King of Swords really has a lot um, of information to give, very logical, um, very, um, you know, that air sign. So it's a very uh, mentally adept. So this person may come in to help mentor you, give you business advice, um, and you may be also taking the position of taking a, a slightly more logical approach um, in the month of July. August, we have strength. So it's just showing that you have the strength to go through all these changes. This is a very transitory year for you, um, Aquarius. So you have the strength to go through the changes. I do feel like the things that you're learning, the things that you're releasing, Spirit's acknowledging July, you have the strength um, to really be gentle and kind because look, she's holding on to a deer. Okay, hold on to your kindness as you go through um, these different rites of passage. Uh, what was that? August. No, that was August. Okay, September. So, September, we've got King of Wands. Okay, so this is someone who's a very fiery, um, you know can be good business they definitely have they're the showier kind but you have two kings here so this would be king of spades king of clubs so you have mental body into and intuition okay um so you could have these people showing up for you um this one just with the way that it's depicted you know just be careful and um September here because uh, this person showing up maybe it's like reminding me of the the medicine salesperson in the olden times who comes through and shows all the magic tricks but there's really nothing to it so like you know something about this card it's not what this card means but I feel like just be careful that you don't get ripped off right so just again be logical um, and in your choices for this second half of the year okay um, October we've got five of swords so there can be conflict and rejection going on um, this came up in Capricorn's reading and honestly looking at this card I'm just feeling like you're cutting out all of the BS okay so I feel like not you being rejected Aquarius I feel like you having some choices here okay with these different people in your life whether it be business whether it be love and romance i feel like you're gonna cut out all the crap like all the people that are not supposed to be in your movie i feel like you're the one that might be rejecting someone and it's not a bad thing it's just it's not a vibrational match anymore and remember that you cannot make a wrong choice so just surrender to your heart's desire in 2021 um because in October, I feel like you are cutting out that um, old energy. November, you've got nine of cups, so a wish fulfilled. So by you making the choice to cut out this old and outdated energy, by you being willing to make the transitions, you have a major life achievement that's happening in November, like a major wish fulfilled. Uh, for some of you, it's to get married because we've got the marriage card here. Um, for some of you, it's to build this business for some of you it's health related like or how you see your family like where you're gonna live but I feel like a major life goal and achievement a wish fulfilled one of your desires like major desire is coming through month of November in December we have four of, um, of cups reversed 
So I feel like you are finally seeing things, like finally letting go of the past because the Four of Cups in its upright is showing, you know, the person looking at all of these cups that are poured out when there's a cup down here that's full, right? And so it's like, um, I feel like with it being reversed, you're finally going to get the perception that you need um, and really be looking at uh, your heart's going to be full and you're going to be willing to let go of those cups that spilled out at the beginning of the year. Um, like that broke the heart. You're letting those go. Okay. You're no longer going to be looking at that. Um, for first quarter, the general theme for January, February, and March is the emperor. So you are coming into your power. You are coming into what do you believe in your belief systems? Uh, you may be meeting someone who is going to be a major help to you because remember you have two of wands in March. And so you might be meeting this emperor energy that's going to help you um, in business um, or help you in your love romance. Like there's just going to be um, this energy is one that aligns with where you're going okay where you're really in charge of your own energy and your own area okay oh my gosh we have the empress for the second quarter look at this you guys divine counterparts and that 11 11 card so for many of you i feel like this year you are going to meet the person that you'll marry your divine counterpart so i know there's some ups and downs this year um, but to have the emperor and the empress says that you are very, very blessed. The empress is fertile. She is completely filled to the brim with creativity, ideas. She is the cosmic mother, the mo mother Gaia. She's the one who that you guys, you're going to have plenty. Okay. So all of your needs and desires will be met. You're just kind of traversing through the void this year, Aquarius. But this is a really positive sign because... Um, and then we've got the third quarter is Ace of Pentacles. So that's that King of Swords, King of Wands, and Strength. So you have an offer coming in. This is a legitimate offer. Again, you're being logical at this, this time in the third quarter. You're making decisions that are going to um, bring you blessings of uh, money and energy for the future because this Ace of Pentacles is opening up the doorway for wealth and energy flow. And it is a solid offer, okay? And this is between um, King of Swords Strength and King of Wands, okay? So really good quarter for you. And in the fourth quarter, we have Seven of Wands, okay? And so in your um, overcoming of, there's some rejection and conflict during that time. But remember, you're learning to stand up for yourself. This happened in Capricorn's reading too. Okay, so though there might be some people coming at you or whatever, okay, you're really learning to stand up for yourself and it's resulting in this wish fulfilled and it's resulting in you changing your perspective, turning it upside down and really seeing, getting unstuck, okay? And um, I feel like that one is helping you to really be in your power. I'm just gonna pull one more card for that. What's up with the Seven of Wands? Okay. Yeah, six of pentacles. So it's here to bring you blessings. So um, I feel like those who are not for you are going to be exposed. That's why you're surrendering um, to the energies this year and surrendering to yourself because you have six of pentacles. You have this beautiful balance, harmony, great money, you know, recognition. You have that coming in. And, you know, you see all these people at the tea party, right? But there's some people who aren't going to make it to the tea party because they're doing this situation here, okay? It's like you've had to stand up and um, swat away the haters, I guess you could say. But at the end of the day, you're getting your wish fulfilled in this quarter, and there's lots of prosperity coming your way there, okay? So thank you so much, Aquarius. That's what I have for you for year 2021. It looks very beautiful. You get to write your own story. So surrender into the void here because you're going to be expanding yourself, okay? Really expanding yourself, looking in and knowing yourself. And when you expand yourself, your outside world expands with you, okay? 
So blessings to you and until next time, aloha.